All right, the first steps to get your oven turned on, set it to 180 degrees and put your paper cases into your muffin tray, just like that. Just like that. Yeah, beautiful. All right, get a bowl, put your dates in, one cup of boiling water and your bicarbonate of soda. Stir it up a bit. My dates look a bit different, don't worry about that. Leave that for like five minutes until the dates get soft and mushy. All right, in your food processor, stick your date slop goo, try not to splash it everywhere. Yours will be chunkier than mine, but don't worry about that. Make sure you get it all, don't waste any. So use a spatula or something to scrape your bowl out properly. Your butter. I've chopped the butter up so that it's easier for the food processor to blend. And your rice malt syrup. Again, that'll stick to your measuring cup, so scrape it out, don't waste any. Also, if you leave heaps of stuff in one of your containers, it'll throw off the ratio of your recipe. All right, put the lid on and give it a blast for about 10 or 15 seconds until everything is smooth and evenly combined. Just stop and have a look. If you've got heaps of stuff stuck to the side, you need to get in there with a spatula and scrape it down so that everything gets evenly mixed through. Mmm. Okay, stick in your flour. And your eggs. Just kidding. All right, give that another little blast. Not long, like five seconds will probably be enough. All right, stop, check it out. See if you've got to scrape the sides to make sure everything gets mixed up evenly. That's all you need. All right, now you've got to get your mixture and spoon it out evenly into your cases. They probably only need to be about half full because remember they're going to rise heaps. Now don't be lazy and do a proper job of scraping out your food processor. And I'm talking about the little blade thing inside. You've got to take that out and scrape all the mixture off under it. Don't just wash it down the sink. That's really wasteful. If you spill some mixture on the tin, just wipe it off before you put the tray in the oven. That way it won't burn. All right, that's been about 15 minutes. They look pretty good. We just need to see if they're done. So I'll just give it a little touch and that is springing back pretty well. So I reckon they're probably okay. Another thing you can do is just grab a skewer and poke it. And that came out with pretty much no mixture on it. So I'm calling those done.